What's up guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to talk to you about the Transporter Fanny Pack from Cabela's. Let's check it out. So the other day I was in Bass Pro and I came across this little set of fanny packs. I got curious and so I wanted to check it out. I pulled one off the shelf and tried it on and I determined that it was probably the most comfortable fanny pack that I've ever tried out. I think you're seeing a lot more people trying to use a fanny pack nowadays as opposed to a regular backpack. Um, the hunting public does this a lot. Uh, the guys on the Element like to do this. As far as what I've seen the hunting public use, they're using the Monster Fanny Pack from Badlands. While I think that's a great fanny pack to use, after looking at this one, I think there's a whole lot more features that you get with this style. Uh, and it's actually a little bit better price point. The Badlands pack is gonna run you about 189, and this one is gonna run you about 100. So currently, it seems like this one may be the better option. What I want to do is try and show you how this looks once you've got it on and then we'll try and go into some of the different pockets and different ways that you can organize the pack. Alright, so this is how I've got it set up right now. Just got the binocular harness right here. Got my rangefinder on the side. This is hydration compatible, so you can actually run a water bladder through it. And this is what we're looking at from the back. All right, so just to give you a little bit of an idea how this is set up. So you've got six compartments on this pack. Uh, you've got your main compartment here, your back compartment here, a little bit smaller stuff, and you've got two sections here with even smaller compartments, and then you've got this little piece here on the outside. Uh, it does allow you to carry your bow, which is something that you don't get on the Monster Pack. So, basically you get the section here that comes out. The bottom cam goes into here and you just attach it up the top here and then it just kind of leans up against your back. So, that gives you that option if you want to carry your bow that way. Now, basically, I've got this pack maxed out. I've got pretty much everything that I could think of put in here. Really don't need to carry this much stuff. This is just kind of showing you the options of what all you can carry. So, I'm gonna start off showing you this. What I've got here is my Marchway camp chair. So. You've got these two bed roll straps right here, and all you do is squeeze them, and then they come off like that. They're not the easiest to get back on, but they're pretty easy to come off. So then you can just pull this off, and this folds out into a chair.
about the way this is set up is you've got the little bedroll straps here that go across the top. And so this kind of creates a little bit of a shelf here. One thing that I would recommend is if you are going to carry like a tripod or a heavy coat or whatever, having your heavier item here is much better than trying to carry it on the bottom. Uh, it's just it's pulling too much weight if you put it on the bottom. This, if you put it up here, if you keep the heavier item up here, you're going to be a lot better off. It just keeps it closer towards your center of mass distributes the weight a lot better. Then what I've done on the bottom here, you've got a couple of straps here built pretty much the same way. So just take those off. That's the bow piece there. And this is my jacket. Roll that out. I got a down jacket. The great thing about the down is it's packable. So you know, I just keep it in this little bag here. Works pretty well. So for your back compartment here, right now I just kind of got face mask, gloves. You've got two small mesh pockets here. You got this one little sleeve back here, and you got a zippered pocket here. Works great for keeping a license. Anything that's going to be easy enough to slide in there like that. Cards, wallet, a little D loop for your keys. You got this small pocket here. Um, easy enough for like cover scent. Then you've got these couple of pockets right here, just one behind the other. Um, right now, I've got bug spray to fit anything about that size in there. Um, right here, got the headlamp, got hand warmers, got thermocell attached on this end. You've got some pretty nice capability with this. You've got these two little loops here that are good enough that you can kind of tie something in. And then you've got this other little loop here which thermocell clips in there pretty easily. And you've got this front pocket here. Uh, I've just got cover scent easily enough. And these little pockets on the side are made where you can easily unbuckle them. This has got a lot of Velcro on it. You can take this and pull it through and that comes out like that. So it's all Velcro here. So what you can do there, you don't have to use this one. I mean, it gives you the option to take that off if you want to. So then you can put like a pistol holster or bear spray or whatever you're trying to use on your hip there. So this side, I've got this uh, aftermarket molly pouch and basically it's big enough that I can put my phone in there. Just makes it a little bit easier to use that way. This particular pack is from I Do Gear, a company that sells tactical gear on Amazon. All right, so the great thing about the way this is designed is you've got the shelf area here where you can put a tripod, put your chair, whatever you're using on the top here. But you can also unzip it whatever's up here stays on there's a few different packs where the bedroll straps go all the way over the pack so if you've got something strapped down you've got to take it off the pack in order to get into the pack but that's the great thing about this if you've got something strapped in on the shelf you don't have to take that off 
So if you need to get into the pack and you've got a tripod strapped onto the top, then you can still unzip it and get into the pack if you need to. So that's a really great feature. So basically all I'm using is these little fish hunt fight bags. Um, I've got a couple of them. I'm put snacks in here. I've got medium and the large of the fish hunt fight bags. Also, I've got the water bladder in here. Basically went ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag. Not really sure how waterproof the inside is going to be. Just wanted to do this as a precaution. Um, you've got these two little mesh pockets here. So put the flashlight in there. Uh, got another bug spray in here. Then I've got secondary GoPro. I can fit my cell cam in here with a mount. Keep an extra orange vest in there just in case. So, just to give you an idea, I've got rattle bag, SD cards, medical kit, grunt call, other uh, camera mounting accessories. This is the Spy High mounting kit. More medical stuff and a knife. And this bag, basically, it's got little accessories, uh, camera cleaning gear, extra batteries, knife sharpener, additional batteries, um, Allen wrenches, so just some small stuff. Like I said, Basically, I've had the pack maxed out, so it's definitely not necessary to carry all of that stuff with you to the woods. You certainly don't have to carry your cell camera with you and all of its attachments. This is basically just showing you what it's capable of doing. I think this would be a really great pack for somebody that's a saddle hunter or if you're somebody that is trying to be a little bit more mobile, maybe you're hunting off the ground or somebody that's trying to do like a spot and stalk type hunt on public land and you're wanting something that's a little bit lighter weight, a little bit more mobility and has a little bit more organization than just kind of your plain Jane backpack. So I think if you're trying to saddle hunt with this, I think this would be a situation where you can put the sticks on top and then, you know, just wear your saddle. Really, if you wanted to, you could even attach your platform to the back section there where the bow is going to hang. You know, you could do that instead of using that for your bow. I definitely think it gives you a lot of good options as far as, you know, just the versatility of it. You know, you've got the top and bottom compression straps. So I think if you're trying to decide between the Cabela's and the Badlands, I think the Cabela's really is the better option because it's very comfortable. The Badlands is comfortable too, but the way that that particular pack is designed, there's a section inside that pack that you have to adjust to get it to fit you correctly. I think the Cabela's just fits better. There's not a whole lot of adjustment that you have to do, and it's got padding pretty much everywhere. So I really think it's a good option if that's something that you're looking at getting before deer season. Basically, I just hadn't seen a whole lot of reviews on this pack, and the one that I did see didn't go into a whole lot of detail on it. So I wanted to try this out and kind of see what it was capable of carrying, and I think it could be a really good option this fall. So if that's something you're interested in, go to Bass Pro or Cabela's on their website or visit your local store try one out so if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you want to follow along with us we should have some pretty good content coming up this fall so stay tuned and we'll see you next time so thanks for watching <laughs>